Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Louis V. It is another day of toy hunting, but also another year of toy hunting. So today we're gonna stop by at GameStop. I called earlier, they told me they had Iron Patriot, but I'm gonna stop by and see if they have them. But also, I have not been filming for a little bit because I've been busy for the holidays, but yeah, I mean, there's a whole other year now. So yeah, be ready and Let's check out this GameStop. Hopefully you do have the Iron Patriot because I'm still looking for the whole wave. I do have Iron Man already. Uh, I've seen Captain America at another store. I'm probably going to stop by and get that for sure. But yeah, let's check out this GameStop. See what they got. Alright guys, so I just got this GameStop right here. And they did have the Iron Patriot. But as you guys can see right there, it has like a little... It was a little damage, but still. I mean, he's really cool. Um... I need the heads, I need the figure itself. I'm personally not a box collector, but I do like to keep my boxes in perfect condition, good shape and all, but I mean, hey, it's Iron Patriot, can't go wrong with that. So I still picked them up anyway. So I mean, if I find them in another GameStop, see if I can swap them, swap them out just because of the box. But if not, I'm not worried about it. Hey, I got them at least. So yeah. Uh, See you guys in a bit. We'll stop by a couple other stores. See what else we do today. Yes, guys, you guys guessed it right. I'm here at the Hollywood headquarters. You guys can see some of the cool stuff they got here. Check that out. Superman looks really cool. Some really cool statues here. I mean, they have a bunch of other little pops. It's like a bunch of other stuff on that side. That's like the Harry Potter section. I just came from the Marvel section, but they got a bunch of other cool stuff. But Here's a couple of the Batmans. They have a lot of the, like usual stuff, but they have other cool stuff like this one. This one's pretty cool. I haven't seen this in a while. And then they got this, this one right here. Like that one. Even t-shirts, like they have a lot of cool t-shirts here. And then I know most of you guys collect these right here. They have all these. But yeah, I'm about to walk. Yeah. Say hi to my little brother. We'll get the Elsa. Let's go look at Elsa. Yeah. My daughter. Lady. Yeah. Let's go see the Elsa. I like her. Let's go see Elsa. Check her. Alright, we'll go over there right now. Oh, I think you've seen the dinosaur. <laughs> so if you guys haven't been to the Funko shop, check that out. You can take pictures here, sit down. And they have the dinosaur Jurassic Park. Looks really cool. The little park. Check that out guys. Demogorgon. An 11. They got a lot of other Stranger Things pops here. And then check that out. Dragon. That looks awesome. Check that out, guys. Nexus is looks pretty cool. And then Michael Myers. Freddy. And check that out. Pennywise. What are you doing there? It's pretty cool, huh? Check this out, guys. I found a really cool spot. All this Star Wars stuff. Look at this droid right here. It looks really cool. The Jawa. Freaking Jawa. Looks crazy. All these other toys. Oh man. I have a lot of cool toys. Wait. Huh? Give me my phone back.
Oh. It's pretty cool, guys. So they have the pop factory here. It's really awesome. So you get to build your own pop here. It's only like $15. That one's pretty cool. And I mean, they have a couple of your own box. There they are right there. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, they have a lot of cool stuff. And you can build your own little pop. It's pretty cool. Check out this Toy Story scene right here. I think Rex is awesome. Alright guys, I'm inside Box Lunch. And check this out. They have the Vegabot Yoda. It's pretty cool. Awesome. It looks a little bent from the back. How much is this? $32. So it's $32 for that Yoda right there. And then they have the new Mulan too. A couple of the Star Wars. And the Ray. I don't see the double blade lightsaber right here. A couple of Fortnites. And then the Trolls. I remember my sister used to have these. She's collect these. And then they have a couple of the Fantastic Fours. I was looking for this Batman too. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. Silver Surfer. They still have some of these. And YCC. Madman. And LeBron James. So check this out though. Killer Eddie right here. So we started bringing these out now, I guess. And the Birds of Prey. Ball Z's. And then they have Speed Racers now. Racer X. Looks awesome. Speed Racer. And they got more Gladiator. You're supposed to go to those Maximus. Yeah, they got more. Okay, cool. And then, oh, I'll check that out. I think I'm going to get this guy. I was waiting until he was released. He looks pretty cool. Get this guy. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm about to show you guys last week's haul. I did up end up going to Long Beach Comic Expo, so I'm about to show you guys what I got over there. I got the Punisher Mesco figure. For those of you guys who don't know which one this is, I'm about to show you guys right now. So it's from the Netflix series One to Twelve Mesco, the Punisher. Check that out because we bought a bunch of weapons and accessories and a bunch of other cool stuff. Check out the front. And also, I got to meet someone really cool. His name is Jerry Conway. As you guys can see, I got my Punisher comic book autograph right there. As you guys can see that. This is issue number one. Check that out. And here goes the picture right here. You guys want to see? So yeah, got these two things at the con, really cool. And then a few days later, I went to the Funko headquarters and got this right here, the Jack Skeleton. This is a series number two from Disney. Series, you guys can see that back. You guys wanna see all the other ones? Shows all those. But this is pretty cool. If you want to check out Jack Skeleton. And also, um, as you guys see in the video, my daughter got to build her own pop. Comes in one of these boxes right here. And she has it all wrapped up right there. Uh, so, I don't know if she's asleep right now. So, if she was, I don't want to really open it. But, I can show you guys next time. And you guys see in the videos, it's a really cool spot. I didn't want to record the whole time because I want you guys to go check it out, see what they got. I only recorded a couple things, and yeah, it was a cool spot. It's a really cool spot. But also, here goes a war machine that I picked up the other day, and I know it was pretty damaged right here. 
It was the back to build a, a broke door. You can see that. So yeah, this war machine has two heads pieces to build a broke door. These two right here, one with the sunglasses, one just like that. But also, if you guys have the Infinity War door um, action figure, you could just swap the head and it'll be just like the one from Endgame. So you could just add this head right here to the other one, even though he's not gonna be that like fat, fat, but he's gonna be close enough. I mean, besides that, War Machine's pretty cool. Also, I did find another um, Iron Patriot at another game style, so hopefully I could get purchased it because of this damage and then, you know, swap it, whatever, or take this back. I'm not sure. Maybe I could keep it to open this and keep the other one sealed. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but that's pretty cool. I got all these guys. This one at the cons, Funko headquarters. Also, my brother has this website called Econiac, and... I picked up this light up Darth Vader. I remember I was trying to pick this up at GameStop, but I took too long, so I never really pulled the trigger. So now I did, and I ended up picking them up. Pretty cool, Darth Vader lights and sounds. You can see the side. So yeah, if you just want to check out his website, he got Marvel Legends, Pops, uh, Black Series, a bunch of other collectibles. If you guys want to go check them out? I'll put the link in my description, econiacs.com. But yeah, the Star Vader is pretty cool. As a matter of fact, let's open him up. Let's see what he does. And see how it lights up and sounds. Check it out. So for those of you guys that don't have this pop or you're trying to get it or find it, let's see how he lights up. I wonder if his lightsaber lights up. So, yeah guys, so it is a bobblehead. You guys can see, it's a little bobbling, and then is there a button for it? So you pull this out. Oh, that's pretty cool. Even the lightsaber lights up, that's pretty awesome. So you just press it, oh, so it has different sound effects. That's awesome. Wait, let's put this box down. Sorry, Jack Skelet. That's pretty cool. Wait, let's check him out with the lights off. So yeah, here goes with the lights off. I know you can barely see me. It makes the other sound effect. But look at the bottom, how it just lights up. It's pretty cool. And lights I've never seen a pop light up like that with the lightsaber. I've never seen a lightsaber light up either. Oh, even the little buttons light up in the middle. You can see that? Check that out. But yeah, that's a pretty cool pop. So yeah, if you guys want to buy, I still, I think he still has a Kylo Ren and Darth Vader pops in his website. Go check them out. And also, if you guys are looking for the Fantastic Four, he has those available as well for a pretty good price. So stop by and check that page out, ecomniacs.com. But yeah, that was my haul for the weekend or well, last week. I did go hunting again today. That's going to be in my next video. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, my next video and I got some pretty cool stuff but I'm gonna go hunting tomorrow so I'll show you guys what I got today and tomorrow in my next video so don't forget to drop a comment like subscribe and see you guys again next time